Today we will look into a command line program in Go that takes in a stock symbol as input, web scrapes the last, uh, I am guessing, three months of stock price from Yahoo Finance and then draws a graph using those prices. So before jumping on to the code, let's look at the demo. So here I have my Go program ready and I will take a flag value as stock. Um, and we can pass in the stock symbol which could be anything like let's say Apple and when we run it it will take some time web scrapes the stock prices for last three months approximately and then it draws uh, stock prices on the Y graph and then on the X axis it's we have our timeline like a duration which is number of days so we can see the current stock price uh, the recent one uh, is around 130 uh, which you can go ahead and check as well um, let's say i have my yahoo finance open here we can see it's around 131 so yeah it's around that part um, correct if we take any other stock let's say i want to run for coca-cola so if i run this um, there is not much variation and you see i have i'm also printing the price for the last three months and we see the current price is around 59 something so let's see Coca Cola, uh, which is right 59.43 okay so this is what we are going to build uh, which is going to be our command line program so before we jump onto the code i usually like to create a directory which is um, demo client app and then i will cd into the directory then i will initialize my go mod file which is going to be correct i'll create a main file main.go and we can start with our coding now before coding uh, we will look into the architecture of my program what we'll be doing here so i have a, a small uh, diagram here so first we are user so we will give call to the go command with the stock symbol so we need to pass the stock symbol as a flag value then it goes to our go program go program calls our web scraper it basically scrolls through the stock history table so this is the link here historical data and if you see this is in a tabular format right let me zoom in correct so basically i am interested in this part i'm just taking this value which is the adjusted close value of uh, the stock price the previous day now once i get the stock value uh, i pass in the historic prices back to the go program and then i save it in an array and then i use a graph library in go to create the command line graph and i will show you the graph library that i'm using um, it's called ASCII graph and this is the uh, package that we need to go and get so let's do that in the meantime um, correct another another library that i'll be using is called Kali, uh, which is going to be our v library which web scrapes uh, data so we will go and get this value so it's let's go here and we can just do this correct uh, we'll go here go get and we just need to do let's go and get this value it will download a library okay so i guess we have everything um, installed there is one more thing i wanted to show so this is the flag library which comes inbuilt with our go uh, libraries and what we can do when you import the flag library you can actually pass in anything with this dash value so here where i'm passing it as dash talk um, this is in this case i'll be passing it as word and this is the next parameter is a default value and the last parameter is a type of value which will be passing in our case also it's going to be a string so the syntax stays same once we pass in this 
we can call flag dot parse which basically stores the value in this variable and then we can print it in our case we'll be passing it to the uh, web scraper that uh, you need to go to the yahoo finance page of this stock and start scraping the data so let's get started um so i have here my demo client app go dot main okay so uh, okay i think i didn't uh, init my go mod uh, correctly so i need to do that okay so it did create go mod file now okay i'll install the libraries again okay cool now it's working let's start with our package name main then import now these are the things that i need to import flag uh, fmt to print anything log to log stuff sort so i'll show you why i'm using the sort library string uh, this library I'll be using to convert uh, string to float uh, numbers because when I'm web scraping the stock prices it gives us the string value so 59.43 comes as a string value but I don't I don't need a string value because when I'm plotting I need a float value so I'll be converting that and I need a time the reason I'm using time because I like to um, track how much time my program is taking um, it gives me an idea that whether it's slow or fast and if I need to optimize it and then the callie uh, library is used for web scraping and then this one uh, ask I graph for creating the graph uh, S C I I G R A P H. okay I think we have imported all the functionalities now I will start with my main function I will start my time time dot now stock symbol now this is the variable that uh, will be fetching from our flag uh, which we pass through the command line so we'll be passing a flag called stock let's say my default value is for Microsoft stock if I don't pass in a value I just use this value and then string then I do a flag dot parse which will parse and then I will create a method called historic data stock symbol and then I will also print after my method is done that I have completed completed the code uh, took some time in seconds so I will have time dot since start dot seconds cool now I have everything ready let's create our method function get historic data stock string okay now what I'll be doing here is um, I already have um, created a tutorial on how we can web scrape using go so what I'm going to do here is I will make use of the existing uh, code. So I have it in my gist. Okay. Um, let's say this is for go routine. Yeah, web scraping. Okay. So this is the code that I need. So I'll copy everything till here. I'll quickly go over once I copy the stuff okay so what I'm doing here let me remove this channel part I don't need this okay um, so yeah this code this much code is default code in the sense once we created an instance of the Kali object so Kali is our library which is used for web scraping it takes some default values then we limit that okay uh, if you want to parallelize um, the web scraping and make it faster you can add more threads to it and then this is the hook that we get called so as soon as i call c dot visit so the c dot visit so this url also needs to be changed uh, this url needs to be uh, let me go ahead 
uh, wait just a sec uh, stock analysis correct so this url is this one so finance yahoo quote So this quote stays like this and then we go to history history correct let me print this so you see this whole URL is there then we have the stock price name and then we have the history cool so as soon as I call C dot visit it will call C dot on request and it will start logging it that okay I'm visiting this particular URL now in that url also what we need to do here is if we go to the web page again um, you see this is a table so what i'm doing here is first i try to find the body of the table then each table has this row so this is one row this is second third row so i need to go over each row and i need to fetch this value right so what i will do here is i am going over each row and after each row uh, actually before each row I want to create a variable so because I will be storing one value per row so I will have a variable and once I am inside each row for each row you see there are how many columns are there there is one two three four five six seven there are seven columns but we are interested in only the sixth column so what I am going to do here is I am going to create a variable count which basically keeps track of the um, our uh, the column number now once i am inside this i will increment this if my count becomes six then i know this is the column that i am interested in so what i'll do if s comma error now i now as i said um, we will be getting um, a parse i will be getting a string value uh, from our uh, column so I will try to convert it to a float number and once that is successful um, I would append it to my uh, append it to this one okay and once I have append this value why is giving me this error string value S dot error string convert pass dot float data slice error is nil yeah if error is nil just append it um, I don't know if why is this giving me error cannot use error value pass by string value oh I need to change this so this needs to be float 64 here because I copied it now once I have all the values right once I have all the values which is all the rows I that I wanted to compute are computed so what I'll do I will call my sort method why I'm doing the sort method because if you see my first row is my uh, latest value so when I'm appending um, the latest value it is getting at the start so if I try to f uh, create a graph um, instead of creating the graph uh, value the stock price uh, for the current date at at the end it will create a graph at the start maybe i can show you and then i can add this so it's understood uh, easily so what i'll do here ask a graph dot plot data slice so i will plot the graph fmt print ln and i'll print the graph so once i save this okay uh, my sort me method is gone because it sees that I'm not using it but that's fine so once this is ready what I'll do here I'll go here I will do go build oops spelling mistake go build okay it worked without an error now I can run demo client and then I can pass in if I uh, let's say if I pass Apple stock AAPL so it will visit now you see the problem here what is happening is um, we see that uh, this this value here that we see this is supposed to be the recent value but that is pointing to 171 or something and we know that current apple stock price is 130 and that is being plot here like around 131 
so this is the issue which i was talking about because we are parsing from the latest value till the end value the latest value is getting appended at the start of our array so when i create the graph my current value is here the next day value is here uh, similarly the third day value is here and the 90th day value is here but that's not what we want to see we want to see the 98 day value here and then whatever the graph uh, current value should be around here so for so for that reason i'll be sorting it so here i'll be running a for loop with two pointers one will start from uh, the zero index and another one will start from the end index and then I will just swap those values so that will give me uh, a reverse index a reverse array so something like this and then uh, I will do data slice why is it not uh, Okay, why is giving error? Excuse me, wrong assignment. Oh, sorry, I don't have a comma here. So then, data slice of i comma data slice of j will be equal to data slice of j comma j comma data slice of i. So this is our thing is ready. Now let's go back and do go run main dot go stock yep, apple and it works now. So that's all for today's video. If you guys like my video, please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up and follow me on Instagram. Thanks everyone for the support.